hello friends welcome to all this is abhishek in this video students we are going to again discuss some idiom and the phrases which is oftenly appeared in examination so let us jump toward the first phrase all the dress up and know where to go all the dress up and know where to go means means we have we are prepared for some examination we are prepared thoroughly for some work but at that particular time we couldn't do that right at that particular time we couldn't do that in that case we can use this phrase all the dressed up and know where to go for example the st all the, due to the procrastination of exam all the student dressed up and know where to go procrastination means postponing due to the postponing of examination students could not give the examination right due to the procrastination of exams all the student dressed up but know where to go so this is the first phrase the second next phrase is all the hat and no cattle all the hat and no cattle means the uh, the political leader or the any leader who talks the big big thing but they didn't follow it they didn't do the action of of their talking right they didn't have the integrity so for that particular person for that particular organization we can use this idiom right it's a, i can give the, give give the example the tendency the tendency of a political leader is like all the hat and no cattle the tendency of a political leader is like all the hat and no cattle hope you clear about this phrase the next is the be somebody's shoes be in somebody's shoes means being with someone be in with someone right for example the michael the michael is my friend who's always trouble me who always put me in difficult situation so i don't want it to be with michael right i don't want it to be with uh, michael or i can say that i don't want it to associate with michael so instead of the saying this uh, how i can say the i will say that i don't want it to be in michael's shoes i don't want it to be in michael's shoes means i don't want it to associate with an michael the next is the get the sack the get the sack means dismissed from the work dismissed from the job dismissed from an employment you can say yes the due to our misbehavior or due to our some mistakes we can get the sack from company right the example i can give the let us take the example of teacher right due to the ineffective teaching due to the ineffective bouncer explanation of a teacher he got the sack by principal right he get the get get the sack he got the sack right you can use this phrase while dismissing some person from the job the next is handle someone with kid gloves handle someone with kid gloves means talking effectively talking polite way yes but talking carefully uh, is synonyms of this is handle with someone's with kid goes often we say that the, all the government officer all the political leaders sometimes they uh, didn't treat the public with uh, public with the with their uh, good words or they treat with the public with bad words right in that case uh, i we can say that the this particular leaders didn't handle the public with the kid gloves right means uh, the p political leaders give some outrageous statements right in that case we can use this phrase that handle uh, handle someone with kids gloves the next phrase is i'll eat my hat i'll eat my hat students means i will be very surprised i will be very amazed this example is uh, so for suppose one of my friend he didn't study at all right one of my friend he didn't study at all so i'll say that Uh, if he got a first rank in university i'll eat my hat means i will be very surprised right i'll eat my hat means to be a surprised by some action in a fog means in a confused right he is very confused oftenly students are oftenly students in a fog about their career right students are always in a fog about their careers right means to be confused in a fog means in confused the next is license to print a money license to print some money means 
टू अर्निंग द लॉट ऑफ मनी विदाउट मच एफर्ट अर्निंग द लॉट ऑफ मनी जनरेटिंग द लॉट ऑफ मनी विदाउट मच एफर्ट नाउ वट इज इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू लाइसन टू प्रिंट अ मनी इन ईच एंड एवरी सेक्टर मीन्स ईच एंड एवरी सेक्टर इट इज नॉट ईजी टू अर्निंग द मनी इन ईजिएस्ट वे राइट सो इन दैट केस वी कैन यूज दिस फ्रेज द लाइसन टू प्रिंट प्रिंट अ मनी टू जनरेट द मनी विदाउट मच एफर्ट okay the next phrase is lose your shirt lose your shirt means not actually we are going to lose our shirt but lose our money lose our money due to some gambling or due to some wrong investment we oftenly lose our money right so in that case we can use this phrase right or in your on your screen the example he lost his shirt yesterday in casino right the losing money means the losing shirt get the back get the get the sack we discuss i'll i'll eat my hat in a fog we know that right the match made in the heaven match made in the heaven means there are, we can use this friend for we can use this phrase for the two person right who who are the friends or who are the partners of each other so there are two person they are very happy in their relationship they are very happy Oh, they are satisfied with their careers and they are very ha- living happily. So, in that case, we can use this phrase "match made in heaven." For example, Mr. X and the Mr. Y. They are both are the successful in their career, and al- although they are uh, the very uh, happy in their relationships, so I can say that Mr. X and the Mr. Y match made in heaven. Mr. X and Mr. Y are match made in heaven. You can use this phrase in that case. The next phrase is students. The stool a pigeon. The stool a pigeon means we know oftenly we heard the historical stories. The pigeon or the some birds used for the transporting the message from the one place to another place, right? Means the stool a pigeon is particular. The meaning is uh, more or less like this. The stool a pigeon. This Uh, phrase is used for the spy this phrase is used for the spy who gives the information to the police who gives the information about investigation or the anything to the police who is acting as a spy right so for that particular person we use the this phrase often this phrase we see in our newspapers also uh, example which is on your screen is he was killed by the gangster because he was thought to be the bad Uh, to he was killed by the gangster because he was thought to be a stool pigeon the next is the tighten your belt the tighten your belt oftenly this phrase is used for the selfish person or the miser person yes the f- person who is a uh, very selfish about their money yes we can use this phrase the tighten his belt right there is no need to inform the miser people to tighten their belt yes there is no need to inform the miser person there is no need to inform the selfish person to save you a money right because they are already tightened their belt okay so this was all the phrases students which i discussed from the app which is the daily english idioms and the phrases app the daily english idioms and the phrases app which is application available in play store you can download this app and you can study the more important phrases so so this is very amazing app you can download it from your play stores and you can study well and uh, thanks for watching more, most important thing is all the example each and every idioms is given in this application so you can download this app and study so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe